Hey sunshines, it's Christy and thanks for stopping in. So for today's video, I have a pretty big beauty haul to share with you. Maybe once a year I will do a get ready with me and once a year I will do a beauty haul. These videos are kind of few and far between, but you guys do like my empties videos and I think you like them because I'm able to share exactly why I like a product. And this video is gonna be sort of similar to that. Because I get so many beauty boxes, I'm able to work through a lot of makeup and play with things, and I've kind of figured out what my holy grail products are. So when those go on sale, I tend to snap them up, and there's been a lot of sales going on. If you follow me um, on my channel, if you hit the subscribe button, go ahead and do that, and the notification bell, you'll probably see my community tab where I will post kind of steals and deals going on with boxes and beauty companies and all kinds of things. And there's been a lot of really good sales. And so I've snapped up some of my favorite things and some products to try. Just as a disclaimer, I am not a beauty guru. I'm just a girl that likes to play with makeup. I do like to find people on the internet who are my age who like to play with beauty, but sometimes the beauty gurus, like they just do these dramatic eye looks and they're not attainable. They're not something that I wanna wear every day. And I'm just kind of an everyday makeup girl. So if you like my look, <laughs> you can definitely glam it up if you wanted. Um, then stay tuned and let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so the first um, place that I shopped was Tarte. They were having a 30% off sale and I did let you guys know about their sale um, on my community tab and on a video. And so I got a box. You can tell I've already opened it. And I wanted to get some Holy Grail things as well as try some new products. Now the first thing I got was the Tarte in blue or full bloom palette. I have narrowed down my palettes pretty concisely. I just have a few of my favorite, favorite palettes. And I love Tarte. I love Tarte for a couple of different reasons. They just perform on my eyes really nicely. But I also like Tarte because they don't name their shades like vulgar names. You can call me a prude if you want. I don't really care. I just prefer not having, you know, if somebody says what color is your blush saying orgasm. Do you know what I mean? I love that color blush. But I'm just saying I don't want to tell somebody my lipstick is deep throat. Do you feel me? So that's another reason that I like Tarte. And this palette is so pretty. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. I have it on my eyes right now. And it's just beautiful. I would say this part is kind of springy, but good neutral looks into even fall. This is a good year round palette, I feel like. I just think it is absolutely stunning. The shimmers in it are pretty. Um, the top rows aren't as pigmented, so if you need a lighter look, you can do that. They're definitely buildable, and then this row is a little more pigmented, but I just like the, the rose and the pink shades. I think they're just stunning, and I haven't been sad about the purchase of this palette. Um, now, I did get this. I think it's called Bloom. It's the blush that co is supposed to go with the... Um, the palette, I haven't tried this one yet. I kind of forgot about it because I've left everything in the box to show you. Yeah, this is in the color Bloom. We'll take a peek at it together. Ooh, the packaging is really pretty. And then I love their Amazonian clay blushes. That's what this is. Oh, it's real pretty. It's like the perfect flush of color. And you can obviously build that up. It's supposed to go well with the palette. So I just thought I would grab that just to try it. Um, I've heard really, really good things about the Shape Tape Cloud Coverage. This is more of a foundation than um, a concealer. There is a Shape Tape Concealer, um, but this is more of a foundation. And I just wanted to try it. I saw a couple of people talk about it and really like it. Um, I'm looking kind of for my Holy Girl foundation right now. So I did pick up that. I can't speak to that. And then I love Shape Tape. I love it. A lot of people say that if you're older, they don't like it. They find that it settles into their fine lines and wrinkles. I haven't found that. And I find the coverage is just exactly what I need. But I did go ahead and try this Tarte C Power Flex Concealer. So I'm going to give that a go and see what I think about it. And then it. I picked up one of my favorite things from Tarte, and it is their Juicy Lips. These are so stinking hydrating. They're just a really pretty flush of color. Now, I wanted a bunch of colors, and the full price ones were $21, but I found they had the little mini sizes for only $12 minus the 30%. So I got the color Hibiscus. Isn't that stunning? I got the color Passion Fruit, which I've been wearing gorgeous. I got the color Strawberry, which is a repeat buy for me. I love Strawberry. 
Um, I got raspberry. And then I got orchid, which I haven't tried orchid yet. Let's try strawberry. And I will show you what they look like. They're not intimidating at all in terms of the color payout. They're more of just a wash of color. See how pretty? I'm just put it on under over what I have. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, so creamy. They're comfortable to wear. They give you that little bit of shine, but if you just want a little something, something on your lips, like last night, my husband um, said, hey, let's go out to dinner because we didn't have a lot in the house. I was already done with my skincare and had my PJs on at seven o'clock. <laughs> so I just did a really simple makeup look and I put one of these on and we were good to go within 10 minutes. So they're great to have in your purse. I carry them in my purse and I usually have them in my desk. So that is what I got from Tarte. If you haven't tried those juicy lips, oh, I highly suggest it. Um, my husband's a big couponer and I just have found that I know what I like from the drugstore. So my favorite foundation from the drugstore is the L'Oreal Infallible. He got the Pro Glow. My favorite's the Pro Matte, but the glow is really pretty too. Um, so if you haven't tried this, it's pretty inexpensive. If you use like your extra care bucks, it's a pretty good deal, like 10 bucks or so. And then I also picked up, I think the week that we shopped, it was like buy two, get one free in terms of L'Oreal. Then we had extra care bucks, but I really like their voluminous lash primer. This goes on your lashes white and it thickens and lengthens your lashes. It primes them for your mascara. So when you put on your mascara, and by the way, this is my favorite drugstore mascara. It's the Lash Paradise. I love the pink tube too. It just Work. Right, so next we're going to talk about Whole Foods. Believe it or not, yes, do not sleep on Whole Foods. Once a year, they have this big beauty event where all their beauty is 25% off. But one day out of the year, I did announce it over on Instagram. So make sure you're following me on my Instagram stories that they were having the sale. Um, one day a year, they have these magical beauty bags full of really clean skincare and makeup, and they're 20 dollars. So my husband woke up at seven o'clock in the morning. Well, he wakes up that time probably earlier. And he went over to Whole Foods and grabbed these for me. And then later in the day, I went over and shopped the event. When I got there, they had some beauty bags left. So guess what? I got one for a giveaway. So stay till the end and I'll tell you how you're able to um, one person win this goodie bag. The bags are so good. There's all kinds of really fun things in here. This is the glow and go. And then I picked up a couple of things, like I said, from Whole Foods. I wanted to try the specific Stellar Gaze. If you've tried this, let me know. I've tried one other Pacifica mascara that I didn't like, but I saw somebody talk about this and they said that they really liked it. Should we look at the wand? We totally should. Let's see what we think. I'm kind of a wand snob when it comes to mascara. And if you've not been around my channel for a while, I want to try all the shampoos, dry shampoos, and all the mascaras. Okay, so it looks like this, pretty basic. Oh, I like the wand. It's a nice big one. So I picked up that. That kind of looks small compared to the packaging, doesn't it? The packaging was like so big. <laughs> And then you get this. We'll see what we think of that. I picked up my favorite, favorite face wash. You guys, this face wash is so good. Um, it's the Seafoam Complete Face Wash from Pacifica. Y'all, it smells a little bit like the ocean and a little bit like vanilla. It's like a clear, thin, gel-like consistency, and it's fabulous. Gentle cleansers are kind of a conundrum to me because... They don't strip away the natural oils of your skin, which is good, but sometimes they just don't make your skin feel clean. And this one does both. It doesn't strip away the oils on your skin and your skin still feels really good and cleaned. So this sea foam is fabulous, not, not only for the, uh, the scent, but also for its cleanliness. I picked up, um, what is this? The Aquarian Gaze Mascara. So apparently I picked up a second mascara from Pacifica. All right, let's look at this one. Basic packaging. Let's look at this wand. 
Aquarian gaze. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so this one's much smaller and much thinner than the other one. Smells good. Okay. Then I picked up this. Um, okay, this is sort of, I think, their version of the Tarte's Maracuja Juicy Lips. So I wanted to try one of these. This was in the color Guava Berry. Oh, no. This isn't like the, the um, Tarte. It's more like a balm. Oh, it's chunky. Hmm. The color's pretty, but it's like coming out in chunks. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Jury's out. Um, I ended up picking up a nail polish. Oh, I picked up another one of those. Crud. In blood orange. Let's see if this one's chunky. That's kind of disappointing. That's the color. Yeah, this one's not as chunky. I don't know. This is the blood orange color, which is a good color for me. It kind of leans on that terracotta orange peachy color. That's pretty. I ended up picking up a nail polish. This is a mineral nail polish. My nails are not doing great. And I was using really clean nail polishes for a long, long time. And then I switched over to like Essie and OPI. And although I love the colors, I'm wearing the color um, Eternal Optimist today from Etsy. Essie. I'm not 100% sure they're doing my nails a service. So I saw this mineral one. This is in the shade Coral Reef. And I grabbed that. I thought it was pretty for, for uh, winter. Oh, I did get another color. This one is Desert Sand. So I'll try those and see what I think. And then last but not least, I got something from Earth Harbor and this is the Citrine Sea Exfoliator. I've never tried this before, but I've talked so much on my channel about how much I love Earth Harbor. They call all of their products gems and it's a all natural, pure, clean skincare. They use a lot of ingredients from the earth. And not only are they carbon neutral. They're the first beauty company to be carbon neutral. They're actually carbon negative. And when I did my kinder beauty box, a bunch of you, I was talking about Earth Harbor was like, I wish we could try them. So I've actually never done this before other than with a subscription box, but I reached out to the company and I said, can you give me a discount code? They were so nice. You guys, you know how you love a company and then like you meet somebody from the company and it'll change how you feel about them like negatively or positively. I got such a cool feeling. It is a family run business. They were so kind and ge and generous to me. Um, so I do have a discount code if you want to try Earth Harbor, but I had never tried their exfoliator before. So I grabbed this one and we'll see. I'm using the Aurora from Earth Harbor, the Aurora Serum right now, and I can't speak enough about it. But also when I reached out to them, so I did not pay for these, they sent me over some of their gems. What's interesting about this company, I didn't know because I've received them in a lot of subscription boxes, which is kind of how I fell in love with them, is if you go over there, they do a little quiz with you, which is fun. And then they'll give you the products they think are going to work best for your skin. Their products are pretty inexpensive. Um, they sent me their Ahoy Love Nourishing Cream Cleanser, which I haven't tried. I actually asked if they would send this one. They sent their Siren Silk, which is their multitasking hydration cream. I've had this before. It's fabulous. Um, I asked for this one too. They sent over the Cloud Burst, and this is a balancing gel hydrator. I've almost tried their entire line. And then they sent this Helios, which I've tried before. This is an ampule. I'll show you kind of what they look like because they're just so, aren't they beautiful? They're just so beautiful. They're bottles. Let's see what this one looks like. They're Cloud Burst. Ooh, look how pretty, you guys. So pretty. I don't think you can go wrong if you're looking for pretty inexpensive skincare. This is the Ahoy Love Cream Cleanser. I can't wait to try that. And then this is the Siren Silk. Ooh, that's nice too. This is the hydration cream. 
but I'm telling you the serum, the Aurora serum, so, so, so good. I'm just obsessed with it. Um, I also forgot, I left something over on my vanity. I'm really liking the Tarte Maracuja setting spray for a long time when I've done unboxings and I've received a setting spray. I've said, I don't really have a holy grail. I just kind of use what they got, what I've gotten until I got that Maracuja setting spray. It is the best setting spray in my opinion it is so good i've heard the charlotte tilbury is good but this is a little bit more affordable and the mist on it is so fine that's a big issue for me with setting sprays is they just will squirt you in the face but this is like the finest mist it's just lovely so if you're looking for a good setting spray i highly highly suggest the um maracuja setting spray by tarte okay the last thing before we talk about the giveaway that I'm going to share with you is um is a luxury a luxury buy, okay? I'm going to I'm going to set this up with a little story. So, I went to the dentist and my dentist is near a mall that I don't get to go to very often, and I had a $100 gift card to Macy's in my purse. My mom gave it to me 2 years ago right at the beginning of the pandemic and I wasn't going to the mall and I wasn't really shopping online either. So this $100 gift card to Macy's has been floating in my purse and I thought I'm just going to go over there. I need some spring shoes and see what I can find. Well, I didn't find any shoes. I went through the clothing. I didn't really see any clothing, but I saw that another company and I'm not going to disparage the company because I don't think it's the company's fault, but another company was having their gift. You know what I mean? Like a gift with purchase, which is like a big deal. And I was like, man, I've heard their foundation is good. Maybe I'll just try that. Maybe I'll just like splurge because usually I buy, you know, the $10 foundation from the drugstore. Nothing wrong with that. But I thought maybe I'll do a little treat myself. So I went over there. There was one lady at the register. She was ringing somebody up. There was another lady helping somebody. There was nobody else. Nobody else. And the third lady came up to me and she said, what can I help you with? And I was like, oh, your makeup looks so good. She was like, oh, thank you. I mean, kind of like annoyed. <laughs> And I was like, well, I, I, I want to look at some foundations. And she went, I'm so busy. I just don't really have time. We're understaffed. I've been running around all day. And I was like, I, I'm sorry. And now let me just say this. I had a friend who worked for this company. And I know during their gift, they are run ragged. And I know this is a time where people are understaffed. I totally get that. And I'm sure she thought, this isn't an excuse for her behavior, that I was some lady who was going to fiddle fart around and take up 45 minutes of her time with all the different foundations and buy just enough to get the gift. I'm sure that's what she thought. And I was like, you know what? I'll just come back another day. And she's like, we're just so busy. We're just, she just kept saying that over and over again. I, to be honest with you, have had just a little bit, you know how you go through things. You know how you go through some self-esteem things every once in a while. I had been going through that and I started to walk out of the store and I was holding back tears because I'm a nice person. I try to treat everybody nice. And so I was just shocked that somebody, y'all, she was saying this with a smile on my face, but it was not a good interaction. And I started walking out of the store and there was somebody at the front. It was all the perfume counters. And she's like, do you want to try our perfume? And quite honestly, I usually am like, no, thank you and walk on by. But I didn't want anybody to feel like I was feeling. So I was like, sure. And she sprayed the perfume and I put it on. It smelled really, really good. And I started talking to them and I said, it was another beauty company. And I said, um, do y'all have foundation? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, can you show me? And so this one lady walked me over to their beauty counter. This lady told me as we were we were just chatting back and forth that she had just turned 65. You guys, she did not like a day over 45. I was like, give me everything that you have to sell. I want it on my face. So she passed me on to one of their people. Every single person at that counter, I'm going to tell you who it is in a minute. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know, was my age. They were my age or older and their skin looked flawless. It wasn't all these like 20 and 30 year olds. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but a lot of times you see like the younger set in the beauty counter. These were all women probably over 50 and their skin was incredible. So right from the start, I was like, teach me your secret. Now they put me in the chair and you know when you're in the beauty store and they put you at the chair, they're going to do all the stuff to you. 
And quite honestly, I was like in the mindset where I was like, do all the things to me. I was feeling a little bad. We talked about makeup. She, I, you know, I said I was looking for a foundation and maybe some lipstick and she did the whole shebang on me, the whole shebang. Okay. It was Dior. It was the Dior counter. Now, first of all, the first counter that I would have expected would have been real, real nice. And this counter I would have expected to be a little snotty. They were not snotty at all. They were relatable and kind and related to aging skin and were beautiful, wonderful people inside and out. I cannot say enough about the people at this particular Dior counter. They were amazing. So um, I'm going to say that I did spend some money. I'm going to warn you. And I'm also going to say that when I was in elementary school, I was with my grandmother and she wrote a check for groceries. And I remember this distinctly. She said, always write your check for a little bit more and then have a stash at home. Have a little money stash, a little mad money put away, okay? So I, I've listened to my grandmother and I have some mad money set away that my husband does not know about. Now, if we needed it, my husband would know about it, but he's never needed to know about it up until this point. And so I went into my mad money and I bought a lot of Dior and I gotta say, I'm hooked and it's really not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. I thought things were going to be in the hundreds of dollars. They're not. They're they're very I mean they're high end, but I think they're still reasonable. So, let me show you what I got because I'm real 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 excited. Everybody that I talked to, the first lady who was 65, the lady who was doing my makeup, the lady who was ringing me up, they were all like, "You need this product. This is what they call the dream skin." Okay? They all raved about this dream skin. Now, this was the most expensive product. This was the product that I was like, "Do I really need this product?" Holy cow. It you put it on, you put your clean your skin, put your serum on, put your foundation or put your moisturizer on, and then you put this on. So it's another step. It's kind of like a hydrant and primer all in one, but this makes your foundation look incredible. I think this is the secret. They all were saying this. And so I bought it. She said this would last me a year. And I was kind of like, there's no way this is going to last me a year. But honestly, I used two little baby pumps of it. And it's fabulous. So this is what it looks like, the dream skin. If you have money to splurge, I know the economy is crazy right now and not everybody's going to, but if you're in a place where you want to splurge, try this or go by the Dior counter and ask them to give you a sample because this stuff is phenomenal. Um, I wanted to try their foundation and so I did and I love it. This is their Forever Skin Glow. Now I tend to like the matte foundations a little bit better. So she did give me two more foundations to try. She gave me so many samples. She was so nice. And she gave them to me in like one shade darker. So in the summer, when I'm a little more tan, I would have something to be able to use. But this goes on amazingly. And she was putting everything on with a brush. And so I asked her, I asked a ton of questions, you guys. Do you like a brush better? And she said, yes, the, the sponges just soak in too much product and this, the you don't use as much with the brush. So I did put this on with a brush and I'm, I'm hooked from the minute that I put it on. It's so good. It's so good, y'all. The Sephora sale is going on right now. And um, if you can try this foundation, that would be the way to get it because you can use your discount. I will say everything at the Dior counter that day or that this past weekend was 15% off. Um, and then she put on, is this what it is? No, she put on powder. And I was like, no, don't, no, no powder. And she's like, why? And I said, well, doesn't powder settle into your like fine lines and wrinkles? And she's like, no, that's pressed powder. You need a setting powder. This one's really light and airy. And she was right. I feel like it kind of sets your foundation, but it also kind of blurs a little bit. I think it's very beautiful on the skin. So I've shared for years that I don't wear powder. Look how pretty this powder is. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's like quilted. It's so soft. It's finely milled. And I just use a big fluffy brush and go over my skin with it. So just turn me into a powder girl. I got a lipstick. This is in the shade 667. And this is the color. It's real, real pretty. I've been wearing this like nonstop too. I'll show you. That's what it looks like right there. It's a little bit pinker, I think, than it shows when it's on my lips on my lips it seems just a little bit darker 
I have another Dior foundation, or no, another Dior lipstick that I really like that I got in my trunk club. And I love the Dior Show mascara that's actually on my list to get from the Sephora VIB sale. Um, now, I haven't tried this, but this is their serum. They said it was great. I had a budget and I told her, okay, whatever you can fit in this budget, that's what I will get. So we got the serum. Um, we got the eye serum. Now, this eye serum, I was for sure, I was like, whatever I get, I want to get the foundation, I want to get the lipstick, and I want the powder, and I want this. And a lot of people are doing this, but I love, do you see the little um, flat metal head on it? It feels so cooling. You just squeeze out just a little bit and put it around your eyes. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. I do it around my lips. I'm obsessed with this serum. Now I haven't tried their lip cream yet, or not their lip cream, their eye cream. It's that same complete total. Um, but I'll have to let you know what I think about this, but I'm a big fan of the serum. And did I, did I get anything else? Oh, I got the concealer. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about the concealer, to be honest. I did it the first day and I did it with a brush. And at the end, right before I went to film, I actually put the shape, the sharp, hold on, I can never say this right, the Tarte Shape Tape on top of it. But today I did it with a sponge. I know the lady said the brush was better, but I think the sponge works better on the concealer for me personally. And I did not put the, um, the Shape Tape on top of it. And I think it's great. Now, I don't think it's 100% coverage. I think you can see a little bit of my dark circles, but that's okay. I don't have to be like, flawless. I'm just not that person. So still on the fence with this. It's just been a couple of days since I've tried it, but so far I think I like it better with the sponge. And then she gave me like a cream cleanser and she gave me a bunch of these toners and she gave me a makeup bag all for free. They weren't really having a gift, but she was like, send it all. And then when I was checking out, I said to her, I told her what happened at the other beauty counter. And they were like, I am so embarrassed. I cannot believe that happened to you. We are so sorry. And I said, you know what? Not that I'm glad that that happened, but I think I was meant to go to Dior. <laughs> Does that sound like totally out of touch? Maybe it does. I'm not trying to, to make that sound like that at all. But honestly, I just, I think I needed those ladies that day. And I'm really excited about my makeup. My stash is a little lighter, but you know what? Sometimes it's okay to do a little splurge for yourself. And that is what I did. Okay. So let's talk about the giveaway. I got the glow and go bag. So one of you guys is going to win this. I'm going to open this up, this one just domestically, but I'm also going to do an international winner for a $35 PayPal. So all you have to do to enter is type below that you're subscribed. That means you are subscribed to my channel and I do check and um, you have to be 18. I will run this contest through the 15th of April and I do a random comment picker. So I just take the URL of this video, I put it in there and it picks someone for me. So you have to be 18, you have to be subscribed, you have to type um, subscribed down below I will pin the winners. I'm trying to make sure I get everything right. I'll pin the winner's name to the top of the comments and you can come back on the 15th and see if it's you. I will also um, respond to your comment that you're the winner. Now, because this doesn't expire till the 15th, if somebody comes on and says you're the winner, WhatsApp me, don't believe them. Don't believe me, them. If Unless it says it's from Georgia Sunshine with my picture and I'm telling you to email my email address, which is in the... Uh, comments and description box of this video, every single video, um, then you're not the winner. So just go to the top of these comments on the 15th and look and see who the winner is. And if you get like somebody scammy, you can always email me and ask me just to make sure that you haven't won. I'll have all the rules down below. Also, if you are international, you're going to write subscribed and international. That winner is going to win a $35 PayPal. That is um, US dollars. So whatever that translates into your dollars is what you will receive. I think it's going to be good. Who doesn't want makeup or cash? I mean, does it get better than that? I don't think so. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you soon for another one. I will have everything linked below. Talk to you soon. Bye.